go. It's starting up already. I don't know if you can hear it yet. Oh, my pump is whining. I am only at 98 degrees. Oh, it just hit 100. Blocking the hole or nothing, man. Let's see. All right. I can feel both holes. My hand's right in the gas. I mean, there's definitely nothing blocking there. The foam's not being sucked in. As you can see, I was taking the cap off while it was trying to run. I'm just to the point of, uh, I'm just baffled. So once again, if anybody has any suggestions, I'm still having fuel problems. Um, this is a brand new fuel pump. Um, the only thing I can think that is uh, maybe this has uh, got a manufacturing defect in it or something that it's not letting enough fuel through but I don't understand why it lets enough fuel through in the beginning and then um, as soon as the temperature starts to get anywhere right away um, you know you hear that whining I mean I was at 100 degrees and it was starting already um, so I don't know I'm tempted to buy another pre-filter but I also don't want to spend the money I've been that's why this uh, fuel system has been upgraded so much is because each time I think I know what it is, I buy something else and it's not it. And then I buy something else and it's not it. So, I mean, we're to the point where the entire fuel system has been upgraded. Um, like I said, um, let me come around the other side. Okay. My fuel pump is literally like right here on the frame let's see if i can get this camera down there i'm not really sure okay there's my fuel pump okay it's brand new this is the same exact one it is a kit that is made for this Fitech system and for some reason i don't think it's the pump i think it's for some reason the I'm cavitating, I believe, and I think that's why I stalled out. I think I'm not getting enough fuel through here for some reason, but I don't understand why it would stop all of a sudden. What, what is keeping me from getting fuel? So, I have another regular fuel filter. All right, that one. Um, so the next thing is, is I'm gonna change that out. And uh, I know everybody's saying, why don't you have a fuel gauge? Why don't I have a fuel gauge? But with all these AN fittings, in order to get a fuel gauge, I gotta get more AN fittings and a fuel gauge. And I'm just kind of tapped out right now. Um, I know i uh, come this far, spent so much money, and I'm tapped out on less than $100, but that's just simply what it is. Um, but uh, if anybody has any other suggestions, that is what I will be getting to. Eventually, uh, it'll have a fuel gauge on here. Um, but, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that I don't have the fuel pressure I need. So, I mean, I don't really see what a fuel pressure gauge was really going to do. Um, more than that, I just want to figure out what's wrong. Okay, here's the, uh, I'm sorry, no. The orange wire is basically the power wire for the uh, pump going right into the Phytech <clears throat> and then the negative wire is this one and I got it going straight into the uh, 
battery. So, I mean, everything's working the way it's supposed to as far as uh, it's wired correctly. Um, I even regrounded. I bought a new ground cable and I regrounded the motor. The motor's grounded to the frame. I mean, everything. It's. I don't think it's any kind of power issue. Um, electric, whatever. Um, to me, it's got to be some kind of clogged line, some kind of uh, clogged filter or something. I, I don't know. Like I said, uh, I'm going to keep going through it until it's done because I'm not going to give up. But if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.